All right, now we are making here for the end to the Royal Rumble. And what can I say? I was really looking forward to this. You know, everyone was talking about forbidden doors and all that stuff. You know, I didn't, I didn't think that stuff was actually going to happen. Like Jericho and Moxley and all that stuff. I'm like, Cody Rhodes teasing. I'm like, I know it wasn't going to happen. But, it, you know, that's why I like the Rumble. It was nice to think. It's nice to dream. Ugh, don't mind the noise real quick. Yeah, getting comfy. But, you know, I, the, I've always loved the Royal Rumble because it's fun. You know, you get to see, like, right away, like, the last, last one when MVP came back. I fucking was so happy. Like, you know what I mean? But they found a way to even ruin that, folks. They found a way to even ruin that. So let's get right into it. With the highlight of the whole pay-per-view, Roman Reigns versus Seth Rollins for the Universal title. Crazy that this starts off the show... Uh, fucking Roman comes out, you know, big boy, and fucking, uh, Seth coming out with the shield music and the shield outfit, I fucking popped, I popped hard, if Seth would have had the blonde streak in his hair, I would have been, I would have been fucking flatlined right there, Roman is selling it fantastic, too, he's just like, you can tell he's just so hurt, oh my god, like I said, if Seth would have put the blonde, it would have been awesome, Seth hits his whole entire shield comeback, the triple dives, all that stuff. Oh, my God. It was so awesome. He's like, he's doing all this shit. Uh, Roman with a drive-by on the outside. Seth with a shield bomb, the shield bomb. They kept calling it that. Uh, the shield power bomb through the announce table. That looked rough. High fly flow, but Roman kicks out. Chelsea's grin, and, and then the buckle bomb into the curve stomp. Seth hit the whole entire combo, and Roman kicked out. Again, he took that curve stomp a little too hard. Roman had fucking bruises all over his face. Roman turns him inside out with a clothesline. Then a deadlift power bomb and a Superman punch. Spear on the outside. Uh, he goes for another spear on the inside, but midair pedigree by Seth. I fucking love the counter to that. I wish that was a, a like a in 2K22. That needs to be like the counter that Seth only does to people running moves. Is the fucking midair pedigree. Uh, Roman spears the shit out of him again, but he can't capitalize. Seth is laughing it off. He puts the fucking uh, fist up to do the shield bump, and he keeps laughing at him. I, I love this match. This match is fucking awesome. Uh, Roman locks in his choke after beating the piss out of him with strikes. Seth gets to the rope. I'm shocked, but then Roman gets DQ'd because he won't let go. Fucking took the damn air out of me. Because this match was so fucking awesome. And then they just had to do a lame finish. But they booked themselves into a place where they had to. So, ah, such a great... Roman is losing his mind. Roman kills him with about 20 chair shots. The same way that Seth did to him when Seth betrayed the shield. Like I said, they had a very good story to this. Roman gets another chair, another 20 chair shots. He walks away and he's like finally deep breathing. He's like, I feel good. I feel great. I'm like, that was funny. Uh, and then we get the 30 Women's Royal Rumble. Uh, the Women's Rumble was 100 times better than the men one, I'll tell you that. Even though the women's winner fucked it up for me. Uh, Sasha's in first in the Sailor Moon outfit. Much respect. And we get a big surprise right away. We get Melina. Uh, she hits the splits. Melina looking mighty thick. Uh, and then Melina is taken out in five seconds. That sucked. And then Sasha starts splitting and the gifts and everything have taken over the world. Uh, Tamina's in next, who cares, Kelly Kelly comes out, so she's so hot, they had to name her twice, uh, she gets taken out by Sasha, Sasha has become the legend killer over here, Aaliyah's out next, I hope she does well, I, I like her a lot, uh, Liv Morgan is next, Three Amigos by Sasha, Queen Zelina is next, with the Madara outfit, much fucking respect, that shit pimping, I'm telling you man, I hate myself, I'm starting to like Selena Vega more and more and more, uh, fucking the Sasha out by Queen Z. What the hell? That was very strange. Sasha was my pick to win, so fuck my life. Uh, Belair is in next. She's going nuts. Uh, Dana Brooke, uh, Michelle McCool, Miss Undertaker out here. Well, she looks good. She looks great. I'm not gonna lie. I think she looks better than she did last time. Uh, Reggie is saved, but uh, saved Dana from elimination. Then, uh, uh, Michelle McCool hits the Styles Clash or the Faith Breakers. Sorry. Dana's out. Sonya Deville is next. She sits down and doesn't want to wrestle. Gets on commentary. Natty is next. Kill me. Uh, Tamina's out. Cameron's out next. And I right away knew. I'm like, well, here comes Sonya. Sonya beats the shit out of Cameron. You know, it's a good story there because that's Naomi's, like, best friend. 
takes her out. Naomi is not in, which I'm like, you could have had her and Cameron had a moment first. Her and Sonya go at it. Naomi takes her out. Carmella is next. I want to kill myself. Um, but yeah, uh, like I said, the more I looked at Zelina's outfit, I'm like, yo, that Madara Uchiha should be hitting. Rhea is back. Um, this is my second pick. Uh, Rhea takes out Zelina and Carmella. Thank you, God. She is my favorite wrestler. Charlotte is in. Aaliyah is out. Sonya helps take out Naomi, even though she was eliminated. Ivory is out next, but it was the right to censor one. That was awesome. She cuts a promo basically saying all the girls got to, you know, calm down. They're way too crazy. Rhea takes her out. Brie mode is here. Brie Bella. Uh, we got a big yes chant. And uh, I would say next to the Seth thing, this is probably my favorite moment, was Mickey James coming out with to hardcore country with the TNA Knockouts Women's Championship. That was really cool. That was really cool. And then they follow it up by her taking out Michelle McCool when the they we finally get an end to the Piggy James story. That's crazy. Uh, Alicia Fox is out next. Uh, Nikki Ass is next. Uh, she tricks Rhea because she comes from behind. Summer Rae comes in. <laughs> So, I, I like Summer Rae. I, I loved her team with Charlotte, and I think it was Charlotte and Sasha in NXT. It was like best friends or something like that. And fuck. So, Summer Rae and Natty have been having this feud ever since Total Divas. So, Summer Rae is running, and you just hear her say, fuck you, Natty. Fuck you. I'm like, I, I love this woman. And then she gets taken out. I was very sad. Uh, Charlotte is the one that took her out, and she does the old fucking best friends pose from NXT. That was a really cool callback. Um, uh, I'm pretty sure no one caught that but me. Uh, Nikki Bella, still looking goddamn fine, bro. The twins work out together. They take out Alicia Fox, which was old Team Bella. Uh, for, again, I'm probably the only person that remembers dumb shit like this. Sarah Logan was a big fucking surprise. I was like, holy shit. Riot Squad is on it up in here. Uh, Bella Twins take out Sarah Logan and Liv. Oof, big heat there. Lita's in next. Lita DDT on Mickey James takes her out. That was kind of cool how they had Lita take her out. Uh, Lita and Charlotte go out. Molly Holly is in. <laughs> so Molly Holly's in the superhero off, and then Nikki ass just goes fucking crazy. Yo, she beats the living shit out of her. Nikki takes out Molly Holly. I'm telling you, if they made Nikki a supervillain, I would solely be in. Evil. Ronda Rousey is in next. And I was like, ugh. Uh, Nikki ass is out. Uh, Brie gets revenge from years ago. Takes out Nikki Bella when Nikki betrayed her. Shotzi's in. Brie is out. Uh, fucking number 30 is Shayna Baszler. Ronda's happy. Shotzi's out. Natty's out. They go at it again. Twist of Fate to Charlotte. Lita's out. Uh, Rhea is out. Charlotte is taking them all out. Shayna and Belair are gone. Charlotte and Ronda are the last two. Oh, my God. This is, this is what I mean. This is why WWE will always have a problem with me. Because they reward people that don't deserve it. This bitch just shit talk, talk the company for like two years. You bring her back. And, of course, you make her win. Ronda wins. Oh, yippee. Future notice. Ronda picks Charlotte. Which is very surprising. Oh, well, better than fucking Ronda's Raw promo. Rebecca. Rebecca. <laughs> that shit was so stupid. Uh, Dewdrop versus Becky. Sadly, no one gave a fuck about this match because the WrestleMania sign exploded. Even the WrestleMania sign doesn't want to get pointed at by Ronda. Raw Women's title. Uh, Becky keeps running away. Dewdrop missing a cannonball. It's a steel steps. That looked rough. Uh, Dewdrop with a Santon. Uh, sit out powerbomb by Dewdrop for a near fall. Uh, Becky with the molly go around from the top row. That was dope. I'm not going to lie. And then a draping leg drop on the rope by Becky. Becky wins with a rock bottom off the middle rope. This was actually a good match. It sucks that no one gave a fuck, but I actually enjoyed this match because it was cool to see someone different. Um, Brock versus Bobby for the WWE Championship. Been waiting 69 years for this, bro. I'm telling you. Uh, we get a big German uh, on Bobby, but Bobby didn't sell it. Uh, Bobby gets him a German back, and then Brock starts laughing about it. He gets real excited. Uh, we get a big spear by Bobby, and then another one right after that. Uh, Bobby takes himself out with the barricade. Uh, nasty Germans. Ger Brock just is tossing Lashley right on his shoulder and his neck. It looks bad, man. 
A uh, hurt lock on Brock. Brock is almost tapping out until the ref is taken out. F5. Um, the ref gets hit again. Roman comes out, spears Brock. Paul Heyman betrays Brock and gives the WWE title to Roman. Roman hits Brock with the title. Paul joins back up with Bo- uh, Roman Reigns. Bobby gets the pin. New WWE champ. Sadly, this is not the match that we've been waiting for. Because uh, like I said... It's very when Brock decides to have a regular match, it's good shit. But this was the time where they, this could have been really cool, and they didn't do it. You got the Roman, and it was way too predictable. It was a bummer. Uh, I enjoyed whatever, whatever little bit we got, but it's just again WWE just has a way to just ruin things, man. Like you know, Paul joining up with Roman, we all knew it was gonna happen, but. The silver lining in this, the fucking good thing about this is Bobby Lashley once again being WWE champion. This man should have never dropped that title to Big E. The Big E experiment was a fucking failure because this man did not want to be taken seriously. Like, I see everybody, oh, they swept the rug under him and all this stuff. I love Big E. Big E is dope as shit. But if this dude wanted to continue to be a joke, it's not going to work out. I understand you want to... Be funny, and you want to be with the New Day still. You want to be with the New Day, look what they did to you. They put you back on SmackDown. You're a fucking tag team wrestler again. This is when you should have just turned your... You, If he would have turned himself babyface still, you know, bring back the five count, you know, be regular Big E, stop with this gyrating and all this bullshit, this guy could have been taken seriously as a WWE champion. But hey, that's what I mean. People do not want to advance. They want to just stick with what works, and that's what happened to Big E. So there you go. Now we're back to a fucking legit real champion, Bobby Lashley, and I'm happy. Like I said, did, did Big E deserve to go put on SmackDown and be a tag team wrestler again? No. But you know what I mean? Like, well, I don't know what's wrong with him going, I gotta be a little serious, but I can still be with the New Day. You can still be friends with your boys. But, hey, that's what happened now. Now, sadly, the consequences are paid. Like I said, do I feel bad for that? Yes, I do, because he is a fucking great human being and an amazing wrestler. He's very good for, you know, a guy being that big. He puts in some fucking work, but I feel bad for the guy. Uh, fucking... Uh, we got Miz and Maurice for his Edge and Beth Phoenix. I completely fucking forgot about this shit. Um... I'm not gonna lie. In the beginning, I was groaning, but this turned into a pretty good match. Um... Fucking Maurice runs from Beth. Beth wants to fight the Miz. Beth is whooping his ass. Uh, Maurice with a brick to Beth again. I, I just love how she just hits someone with a brick. But she kicks out. Beth power bombs the Miz and then Edge with a nice elbow drop. Uh, Maurice with a hurricanrana to Edge from the top rope hits the French kiss DDT on Beth and then a skull crushing finale. Uh, but Edge kicks out. That that was a good close call. Double spear to Miz. Double Glam Slam. They both get the pin. The Grit Couple win it. I'm not going to lie. This turned into a pretty decent match. It's just cool seeing Maurice do stuff. Then we get one of the... Probably the top one or top five most boring Royal Rumble of all time. 30-man Royal Rumble. AJ Styles is number one. Here's the Shawn Michaels double bicep pose we in here. Uh, there goes my pick. AJ was my pick to win. Uh, Shinsuke Nakamura, New Japan time, baby. It's good to see Shinsuke back. Uh, the guys have a good chemistry. Austin Theory is in next, coming in with that Rolling Thunder drop kick. I love that shit. Bobby Roode is in next. Fucking, they actually do it. They gave Bobby Roode and AJ a small spot, and people started chanting TNA. That was really cool. Uh, Big Bob is out. Ridge Holland is next. Shinsuke's out early. What the fuck? Montez Ford is in next. Um, Damian Priest is in next. Sami Zayn is in next. Big Ole Ole chance. El Generico is going crazy out here. Johnny Knoxville with his jackass crew comes out. So this was a great fucking spot. So Johnny starts beating the crap out of Sammy. And then AJ Styles basically says, you get one free shot, kid. Make it count. And Johnny gives him one of the most stiffest forearms I've seen. Even AJ was like, Jesus so AJ decides to fucking whoop his ass. AJ gives him the phenomenal blitz and a clothesline. Oh my god, he clotheslined the Jesus out of him. Montez Ford hits a big frost splash. Ted, Sammy takes him out with the Yakuza kick. So much, much love to Johnny Knoxville. AJ just murdered him with that clothesline. That was awesome. 
Uh, AJ they takes out Sammy. Angelo Dawkins is in next. Omos is in next. Dawkins is out. Horde is out. AJ and Omos go at it. Ricochet is the next man in with the Jin Kazama Tekken 5 outfit. That was my pick to win as soon as I saw that. Gable is in next. Shoosh. Uh, tries to make a plan to take out Omos. He sends Priest. Uh, fucking, uh, that's all done out of there. Uh, Omos is taken out by like six, seven people. Happy Corbin's in next. Ricochet is out. Lame. Dolph Ziggler, 15th. 15th Royal Rumble. I can't even believe that. He beat Kane's record, folks. Dominic is out. AJ takes out Austin Theory. Sheamus is in next. Still no old theme. Fuck this old guy. Uh, Ridge is taken out right in front of him. Uh, Rick Booz is in next. Chad is out. Mad Cat Moss is in next. And Mad Cat Moss eliminates AJ Styles. Are you fucking kidding me? They just... Why would AJ resign with these fucking losers, man? Why? Why? He should have won the Royal Rumble. He should have been the only person to win this fucking Rumble. I hate it, man. I hate it here. Ugh. The gift, like, Mad Cat Mo- You're not even gonna, they're not even on the same roster. They're not even gonna follow up on that. This is the Daniel Bryan situation all over again when Daniel got taken out by Bray Wyatt out of nowhere. It just sucked the air out of the match. Uh, Riddle is out next. Boogs is out. Hey, Drew McIntyre is back. I'm really happy his neck is okay. Drew takes out Madcap and Happen Corbin, destroys them both. Thank the Lord. Kevin Owens is in next. Rey Mysterio is in next. Kofi Kingston. I feel bad for this man. He tries to do the cool thing where he gets eliminated and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, no. He fucks up. He botches. He misses it, and he's eliminated. I feel bad for the guy. Otis is in next. And, yeah, we're at fucking 25. And the only surprise we've gotten is fucking Drew McIntyre coming back from a neck injury. Ugh. Big E is in next. Bad Bunny is in next. Uh, Bunny Destroyer, he takes out Sheamus. Takes out Ziggler. Bad Bunny is on fire. Like I said, I am not the biggest fan of this man's music. I like him as a person, though. He's he's not bad, either. He's actually pretty good. Shane O'Mac is in next. Uh, something good. Shane O'Mac was the only legit surprise to me. Ray is out. Uh, Shane takes out Kevin. Uh, Randy Orton is in next. Big E is out. RKO by Riddle and Randy to everyone. Otis is out. And Brock Lesnar is number 30. Yes, folks, this Rumble only had technically two surprises. What a fucking lame world Rumble. Randy is out. He gets big heat because Randy got the biggest pop of the night. F5 to Bunny. He's out. Riddle is out. Shane is out. Drew and Brock are the last two. F5 to Drew on the outside, man. This Rumble sucked it was so fucking boring. Like, legit, the men's rumble put a bad taste. But, fuck, I'm telling you, they find a way to fuck up everything. Like, Brock could have just challenged Roman or, you know, done the chamber. Like, like you didn't have to give Brock the rumble. You, you know, there's people saying that Riddle was supposed to win. Shane O'Mac got fired. Shane legit got fired because of this. Because apparently he tried to make the rumble all about... I don't even know what's going on. I'm telling you, this pay-per-view just ruined so much shit that it's not even fucking worth it. Like, ugh. Like, they ruined SummerSlam last year. SummerSlam was one of the worst shows I've ever seen. And now they've ruined the rumble and they're probably going to ruin WrestleMania too. Like, this sucks, man. These people can't put on a good pay-per-view anymore to save their lives. It's a bummer, but that's it for me. Catch you guys next time. You use K92 for all the social medias. Follow the YouTube. Follow the podcast, wherever podcasts can be heard. Whale Talks Wrestling. And, uh, yeah, we're almost to episode 100. Episode 100 is next. I I can't wait. Thinking about it, I don't know. I, I might do something special. Maybe name, like, my top 10 wrestlers of all time or something like that. We'll see.